My name's Nicholas McCarthy. Um, I am a concert pianist with a little bit of a difference. I was born without my right hand, so I specialise in left hand alone repertoire. The history of left hand repertoire is obviously very special to me because without that history, I wouldn't have the career that I, I'm able to have today. It started really in the 19th century. Back then, concert pianists, they were, they were like rock stars. They, you know, they used to sell out concert halls throughout Europe really quickly. And sometimes these two-handed concert pianists' marvellous wonders would try to impress their audiences by doing something with their weaker hand. Now, most people in the world are right-handed, so your left hand tends to be your weaker hand, naturally. So it was almost a play on irony. You thought I was good with two hands? Wait till you see what I can do with my left hand alone. And this kind of used to drive the crowd wild for an encore. We fast forward from the 19th century to the 20th century, and as we know, the First World War happened. And thousands of servicemen came back from battle, often with injured or missing right limbs. And there was one particular man named Paul Wittgenstein, who is my piano hero, really. He is the one who came back from battle after losing his right arm, and then he he used his steely determination to, to commission the leading celebrity composers of the 20th century. So Ravel, for instance, uh, Benjamin Britten, Prokofiev, Richard Strauss, you name it, any of the 20th century composers, he was there commissioning. And so that really expanded that already present 19th century repertoire. The biggest misconception that I kind of hear about with left hand alone piano is that there's only a few works for left hand. You know, often people know Ravel's left hand piano concerto, for instance, which obviously is a concerto I play lots, but there's actually 30 plus piano concertos for left hand. Likewise, for solo, people have often heard, I don't know, Scriabin's Prelude and Nocturne for the left hand, which again is a piece that I, I play often. But, you know, there's 3,000 works for left hand alone solo. So um, I think that's probably the misconception is that there's only a few works where, as I know, there's, there's a lifetime worth of, worth of work there. I think my favourite arrangement for, for Left Hand Alone is probably Brahms's arrangement of the beautiful Chacon that's originally written for, for Bach's violin. He actually wrote this for Clara Schumann when she, she injured her right hand and he came knight in shiny armour with this wonderful Left Hand Alone arrangement. I think the Chacon um, for me is a, is a very special piece. I learnt it quite early in my career, then didn't perform it for years and then performed it later on. Um, and it's, it's a big work, you know, it's 14 minutes long in its, in its entirety. And then all of a sudden it culminates this real drama at the end. So I, I really love it. And every time I play it, I feel, feel very privileged to, to get to play it. Some of the pieces that I play are, you know, a real workout. I mentioned Paul Wittgenstein earlier, and Paul Wittgenstein really is my piano hero, but I also have another piano hero uh, called Count Jay Zizitchi. He was the first ever left hand alone pianist, and he was actually a student of the great Franz Liszt and became great friends with, with Liszt. Um, and he is, is, was such a kind of game changer in the world of left hand repertoire, especially the, um, the, the Schubert arranged by Zitchi, um, the Earl King, Der Earl König. It's, um, it's a wonderful piece and I love it, but stamina wise, it's, it's hard work. <laughs> hugely rewarding. I think for me, being a left hand alone pianist and obviously having only one hand, I think the rewards that I feel the most is almost the surprise of audience and people often coming to my concerts who've really never been to a classical concert, let alone been to a piano recital, let alone been to a left hand piano recital. So I think because of that interest and that human interest around, I suppose, my story and, and how I play piano. Um, I think that has kind of drawn my own audience, really. And I hope that my career kind of provides some form of inspiration to, to future generations who have, have a disability, have a limb difference, or whatever that may be. And they see me and think, well, he's, he's done it. And this is, this is what I want to have a go at. So I'm, I'm very passionate about, about trying to inspire that next generation of disabled musicians. Mm -hmm.